In this tutorial, we're going to start working with the solid models or 3D modeling after we finish the talking about the important tools in the sketch entities. So before working with feature, it's better to have a good knowledge in the sketch entities and feature. So the basic to make a good solid modeling start from making good sketches so let's now start working with the features or solid features so basically they are for creating the 3d models so we have the extrude revolve sweep loft and so on we're going to deal with all these features in the tutorials so first feature is the extrude boss so let's start making a sketch as we know let's make circle rectangle and let's make slot we have three different profiles let's accept the sketch or without exiting the sketch you're still able to work with the extrude so here is the extrude is activated so now let's select extrude feature and now you notice you are extruding your part all the drawn sketches and you see this arrow this is a quick extruding option when you select that arrow you are able to expand it or change its direction downward so it's kind of quick way to create extrusion and sometimes you need to make some quick sort of models without having exact dimension so that is a quick way to make it and now let's move to the left menu here you have the type of the extrude blend is just you can move it the way you want and here you have other options you have up to vertex for example if you have another body in front or other edges you can select the vertex and if you have a surface in the front you can also select that surface and up to body but in this case we have the mid plane you can start working with it so if you pick mid plane so you notice you have your extruded is in a mid plane so if you select the mid plane you notice the second direction is not activated because it is extruding in two directions equally so let's make blend extrusion and here you have the distance you wanted so if you type 70 you have 70 the exact value you want 80 or 50 as you want and if you want to change the direction you have these the flip or this icon reverse direction so you have on the other direction so let's make it there there and here you have the draft on or off so when you are making extrusion this first make okay let you see how the extrusion looks like now you have this extrusion parts and you can edit the existing extrusion you can click on it and here edit feature so you are able to edit that feature again so here you have the draft you can apply some draft so you can let's make the angle to be a little bit there 10 degree so you understand this angular extruded part so this is the idea of draft and here if you select the draft outward so you are drafting outward now let's continue to direction 2 you are able to make 
a second direction for extrusion the same way with the same options if you want to have a draft or not so here we can make it 20 not necessarily to be equal and the draft we can make it zero or or deactivate it again so now you have extrusion in two directions okay so this is how it looks so let's back again continue talking about extrusion let's edit feature and now here you have the selected contours that means you are able to select some of the sketching to be extruded not all the sketch for example we have sketch containing many profiles but we want to extrude some of them so let's select what we want to extrude so it should be closed profile and let's extrude both of these and we have the options we already talked about when you are done click okay